Good morning again guys. It is me again. And today we are doing the actual printing of the calendar. So let's do that. So before I start with the explanation of exactly how these calendars were printed using offset, I should probably explain just the very basics of what offset is. And the room is actually really loud, so I'm just going to overlay videos of what we did on top of me talking about what we actually did. It's a lot quieter that way. Firstly, you're going to see that this is a, it's a, it's called a CD, let's see if you can see it, CD74. It's a Heidelberg CD74 machine. It's a Heidelberg Speedmaster and it prints up to 10,000 sheets per hour. And we are gonna use this, it's, it's a pretty industrial machine. It's nothing like you would see in any sort of like office environment or any kind of regular environment, it's a commercial machine. And you're going to see that it has these things that look like towers and I'm going to say them in German because we're going to learn some German words because I sometimes don't know the English words. I think these in English are called print engines but in German they're called Druckwerke and you're going to see that the machine actually has six different Druckwerke and we're only using four of those because we have C N Y K, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and key for black. And pretty much all of the prints, all of the prints in offset print are composed of these four colors in different amounts of mixed together dots. And the way the dots are mixed together is also kind of different. Uh, the other two towers that you'll see, those can be used for, the first one in this case was actually used to flatten the sheets, to give the sheets the first quick press. And then the last uh, Druckwerk can be used as a Lackwerk, which is um, sort of like a not, a, not a lamination thing, but like Drucklack is like a coating, like a shiny coating that can be put on top of it. To give sort of a general explanation of exactly how the entire printer is arranged, this is the, at the very end of the machine, if we're looking at it from right to left, and it's called the Auslege. This is where all of the uh, all of the sheets come out. This is the cyan, magenta, yellow, key, and these are all of the Druckwerke. And this is the Einlege. And this Einlege uses suction uses suction cups to pick paper up from a really large crate of paper and it sucks them into the machine and takes them through the Druckwerke and puts them in the Auslege. And inside of these Druckwerke you have, uh, say this is one Druckwerke, uh, you'll have like this up here which is like the color, uh, this, is, this is where the color goes in, uh, this is at the, at the top machines uh, that you'll see, uh, and then you have a uh, platen cylinder which is where the actual plates that we made in the last video are mounted and and uh, gripped and they are they're basically mounted around the cylinder right here and then you have what's called the gummituch cylinder which is this sort of elastic material covered metal cylinder on which the actual image goes from the plate to the, the paper basically. So it, it goes around this uh, gummituch cylinder, the, the image is then on the gummituch cylinder, and then you have the actual paper. Oh. And that, of course, it's not complete. It, it wouldn't make any sense. I mean, how is the paper going to stay on the gummituch cylinder? And then at the very bottom, you have a really big gegendruck cylinder. Uh, and I'll just label those really quick. This is the Farbwerk. This is the Platten cylinder. This is the Gummituch cylinder. This is the Gegendruck cylinder. And the job of this bottom cylinder, which is super huge and super heavy, 
is to press the paper against the gummi tuktananda. And that is actually one part of today's problems that we had to deal with. Basically, the distance right here matters a lot based on the, on the paper that you're printing. And the paper that we were printing had a thickness of 0.15 millimeters, and it was not very rough. Uh, the, our, our tutor said that it was, a, it was a dream to work with. It's kind of a weird dream from paper. We basically had to adjust the, the pressure with which, of course, if you have this sort of gap, the paper has sort of elastic tendencies and you're gonna to need to press with a certain pressure that would actually make full contact with the paper while getting all the way down into the deepest fibers of the material while also kind of compensating for the, the, the bumps of the paper, which can, you know, vary in, in not really millimeters, but micrometers. And basically we did that. The, the special thing with this machine was that the gummi tuktsirinda doesn't necessarily move up and down or anything, but it can actually swivel around the platen cylinder like this. And in doing that, it actually doesn't change the distance between the platen cylinder and the gummi tuktsirinda, but it does change the distance between the gummi tuktsirinda and the gegen tuktsirinda. And the precision that you're working with there is really crazy. We're talking about a, a tenth of a millimeter just for these, just for these prints. And and this is just offset. This is only the basic way of how an offset printer works. Um, and today we basically applied what we learned in the first two semesters to print our first official job that's actually going to be uh, published and used. So the first, uh, I and I'm just going to run through really quickly the steps that we actually took to make the, uh, to use the machine the whole morning. Uh, first, we took the plates. You had to bend the corner of the plates with a certain tool that would allow the plates to be accepted by the platen cylinder. And two, we had to put the plates, I, I don't know what it's called in English, Set the plates, I guess. I don't know. Platen uh, einlegen. We had to lay the plates into the machine. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then we had to press a bunch of buttons that would. Uh, this this step involved uh, pressing a bunch of buttons and. Then we had to measure the colors. Uh, we would run, we would run uh, a test. We would we would run a, a test print for a couple of sheets, and then put that test print into a really really powerful scanner. And that powerful scanner would pick up what's called the Kontrollstreifen on the Bogen. So it's a sort of. Uh, control element of colors that is always on the sort of edge of paper that you might have seen if you've ever used uh, InDesign or anything like that. That It measured those colors and then using those colors we would make uh, sort of adjustments on the actual printer side of the machine and that was how we would proof the fob. Uh, and then we would run another test print and depending on the certain levels that would come out of the machine that we would read with the scanner, we would know if the image was technically correct or not. And there were really interesting things like, um, whenever you make an adjustment to the machine, for example, if you wanna add more color on one certain channel of the paper, because the paper is actually split up into like 23 of these little channels, if this is like the paper going into the machine, um, the, the paper split into these little channels. And if you want to add more uh, ink to one of those channels, it actually takes, uh, it, there's a certain lag of the machine because you know, it's just, it's, it's ink going through rollers that, that move with a finite speed. And uh, you, they're actually, the machine 
can uh, account for this sort of lag. And what it will do is it will really make an exaggerated color curve and, and ink curve that will actually sort of give an, a push to the process to make it a little bit faster. And then it will stabilize back out. Um, that was one of the things that we had to cover because we had to make a lot of adjustments and uh, adjustments to the actual image because sometimes our images weren't technically perfect. And I thought that was pretty interesting. I, that was new for me. Uh, and then we were pretty much done after that. We would check over, the, the last part was just checking over the, the some test prints and letting 700 sheets through or however many sheets that was, I'm, I'm not really sure. It, uh, per, per run, it must have been uh, maybe 200 sheets. And then we would categorize them and that was basically like, I would call that like finalizing the print. And we would get a, uh, a hand truck and uh, move, move the pallets around and organize all the sheets because we actually had a lot of uh, sheets going on. I don't think, I don't actually think it's really that complicated to understand. The, it just becomes a lot of, uh, it becomes a lot of stuff to understand once you get into like the other printing methods. But this is offset and this was how we printed the calendars and that was uh, that was pretty much it. The next video I will see you guys at the uh, at whatever company that we go to. I think it's called Muda Montini, where, where we will figure out how to put the sheets together from the from the sheets that we printed. All right, see you guys later.